I would like to congratulate uh, Rail Analysis for organizing a wonderful conclave on the very relevant topic. And uh, I think everybody will get a lot of benefit from out of it. And I also thank uh, the organizers, Shri Goel Saab and his team, for giving me opportunity to participate in this conclave and uh, basically discuss about the initiatives which have been taken by the RDSO regarding vendor development. RDSO, many of you may be knowing that it is a technical advisory body for Indian Railways. And uh, RDSO is responsible for technical development, indigenization of the technology, and uh, many safety and critical items are controlled by RDSO. And for that, the vendor development inspection is also done by RDSO. But here, those who know the RDSO, they may be thinking, or there, there may be some impression about it, ki, RDSO will take more time or it is difficult to get the vendor development done in RDSO, but I would like to say that things have changed a lot. In last one year time or especially after, in last few months, especially in this year, 2022, lot of changes have happened. In the first session you, you might have heard about the, basically the intention of the government and the focus on the, uh, focus on the railways and especially infrastructure building up. And in the same line, the RDSO has been revamped, it has been restructured. Earlier there used to be 32 directorates, now we are only having 8 verticals. Virtually uh, the directorates have been merged, some have been eliminated. So lot of changes have happened. So definitely and the, all the changes have been with a focus on the industry, with the ease of doing business, making things simpler, making things transparent, fixing the, to make it, make the RDSO more efficient and effective with accountability. So lot of changes which have happened in last few months. The effect is also that which I am going to discuss about the vendor development. Vendor approval process of RDSO. It has been made very simple. You may be aware that other than RDSO, the production units are also doing the vendor development. The coach manufacturing units, ICF, MCF and RCF, then locomotive production units, CLW, BLW, core for electrification and RDS of course. But now you need not visit any vendor direct, vend, any site of the other production unit. Entire vendor development of Indian Railway is on IREPS site. Unified vendor approval module has been developed. You have to just log in IREPS gov.in and you will go to a UVM portal and all the items have been enlisted there. They have been all the STR specification drawings and the now the photographs have been uploaded. So you need not go anywhere. Just go on the site and you can decide your item for which you want to have vendor development. The most significant effect yeah, decision RDSO has taken is that now there is a direct approval as development source just after CCA. That is your STR verification, schedule of technical requirement will be verified and your capacity will be assessed and you will get the, uh, uh, your name will appear in the vendor list without testing of your product. Without any testing, without any prototype approval, your name will appear in the vendor list as a developmental source. Now what is the advantage? Because this prototype testing will be done once you, your regular inspection call is there. Basically, the advantage to the vendor is that just after 
schedule of technical requirement verification if you are having machinery and infrastructure and you are considered competent enough to product uh, to manufacture that item your name will appear in the vendor list as a conditional developmental source so advantage is now you can participate in the tenders you can participate all the tenders get the orders and the first order whatever is there if the rdso approval rdso inspection is there then you can inform the rdso okay now the my order against the first purchase order is ready please come and do the prototype inspection so once it is clear you can supply the bulk quantity now the advantage is that you need not base because railway many railways are doing the cyclic product procurement for many items it is for one year procurement if the if any zonal railway or production unit has done one year purchase this year then even if you are developed after say few weeks you have to wait for another year for the procurement or for that particular tender so now is immediately the participate the opportunity to participate in the tender is there so it is a very significant move which rdso has done and we will see how it has affected on the pending cases which are there the another very significant effect, uh, decision is taken that the application fee vendor approval application fee which was around 2.5 lakh it has been reduced to 15000 only and for sme msme sector it is 10000 so from 2.5 lakh it is 10000 so all the vendor registration fee has been reduced drastically it is a opportunity for everybody to come forward and get yourself approved in rdso and one of the major decision i would like to say another decision is that the sample testing charges has been made nil now the sample testing charges were as high as 25 lakh in few cases and most of the time it was in lakhs of rupees not even not even in thousands now the all the testing charges in rdso lab they have been made zero earlier the testing charges used to be decided based on the basically the cost of the machine the depreciation expenditure which rdso has incurred on procuring that machines which is costing crores of rupees for fatigue testing or dynamometer testing etc now the decision has been taken ki we are not here to make good the financial expenditure from the uh, vendors so all the testing charges are nil and many tests are done in rdso labs mnc has good uh, got a very good labs we have different type of facilities all infrastructure in fact honorable minister saab has also appreciated the infrastructure which are there for testing of the equipment all tests have been made free of charge and lastly the target for the approval which used to be in years now the internal target is just 3 months in fact from july it was up to june july the railway board railway board is telling now all the cases beyond 2 months should be discussed presently 3 to 4 month is a maximum time all 4 month cases are discussed with dg sir we find out the reason for delay if at all is there otherwise 90 days is a time once you complete your application and your name appears in the vendor list as a developmental source if it is a new item so all these steps have made the vendor approval very simple and very transparent and very fast now some more decisions which have been taken in the field of vendor development all the vendors who are registered for the same item with metro power grid ordnance factories or dfccl or psus if you are approved there your name will immediately appear in rdso vendor list you just give an application with the relevant document there will not be any need for capacity and capability assessment 
So those who are approved anywhere else among these uh, uh, agencies, they can immediately get registered with RDS also. Now if the vendor is <coughs> already approved for the item for which having the ISTR requirement is same, then there will be direct approval for the item. For example, if you are having already all the infrastructure and machinery and you are approved for one item and now you want to uh, get registered or approved for another item which also requires similar type of machineries, then the exercise of capacity capability assessment is also done away with. Your name can appear in the vendor list immediately. Now another move which has been started is that now you can apply in one application for multiple items. The in fact IREPS portal is being revised so that vendor can identify the list of items and in one application you apply for 10 items, similar item, similar nature like if you want to have, you are having a foundry and you have a good furnace and now you want to apply for the different casting items then you can choose. Uh, right now you can choose, for example, if it is coupler, then you can cup, choose coupler, knuckle, yoke. You, know? you cannot choose bogies, etc. But if that is there, then you have opportunity to choose other also. And uh, another significant move which has happened just few, few uh, two weeks ago, the trial. Many items require a lot of trial and trial used to be done in, uh, in for one year, even for in some cases three years trial. In most of the cases trial has been eliminated because the design and specifications has matured enough. So the decision is taken ki, and you are having capability, you have the infrastructure. So we consider that your product and you have a quality system. So your product should run online. So there is no need for trial. So most of the item trial has been eliminated. Only few items, brake system item and some bogey items are having trials. That too with 6 to 9 months, not more than that. And another decision which has, hap has been taken is basically the reduction in control item. RDSO used to control lot of items. Now that there is a policy because we want to leave it to industry. RDSO will decide the specification. Eligibility criteria will be there, maybe because uh, from the production unit side or from the zonal railways. And lot or more and more items are being encouraged to be purchased from the, uh, not through vendor directories, through open market with having some eligibility criteria. So, so that, for example, I'll say ki in January 19, 676 items were, were controlled by RDSO, but now we are having only 212. These 200 items are all department put together, civil, electrical, s &T, telecom, mechanical, everybody. This number used to be quite large. So basically now the focus is only very critical and very safety related item only are controlled by RDSO and many items have been either decontrolled or have been shifted to production units and production units definitely have slightly easier, uh, much easier uh, inspection uh, assessment, uh, vendor assessment processes. Now this is the, the basically result you can see that in um, this 141 cases were finalized in October last year because all the, because at that time the decision was taken ki just after CCA, just after capacity, capacity uh, capability assessment, vendor will be enlisted in the vendor list. And then thereafter a lot of applications were uh, disposed of. Then there, was, there has been increase. This year again we are increasing and in fact now the pending applications are less. For example, cases pending almost one year back 
400 cases were pending, now it's only 152. And cases over six months, they used to be more than 200, now it's only single digit. So this is the result. And I must say it is very encouraging and definitely it will give you confidence that things have changed a lot at RDSO. In fact, nobody should be afraid of RDSO. You should come forward and get registered if you want to develop that item. RDSO control item have reduced from 600 to 200 in just two years time. Then inspection, just a few more minutes I will take. The product inspection RDSO is doing for the safety and critical item. Now we are issuing digital inspection certificate and dispatch memo. So no need to visit any inspection unit. Nobody earlier vendor has to depute their representative to collect ICs and DM, dispatch memos. All those, all those practices have stopped. It is all digital and we are closely monitoring it. Digital signatures are done any time in the night. Even if during the day we were busy, then at night, 10 o'clock from the house, we can do the, the inspectors are doing the digital signatures. And so, and it is directly going to the inspection agency, uh, to the purchasing agency, bill passing, uh, finance officer, everybody. Even the wagon production, it is also one part as early in the earlier session you have heard about 90,000 wagon which are for which the tender has been finalized. Ar these days earlier the wagon industry used to give say around 15,000 wagon per month, per year. Now they have to give 90,000 in say three years time. So there is a huge scope, we have modified the portal. We are covering RSP item as well as non-railway customer items. For wagon items, there will be lot of requirement for, because supply chain has to be built, has to be maintained for manufacturing of these 90,000 wagons. So all those who are interested for wagon items, they have a good opportunity other than those who want to stick to carriage and locomotive items. Continuous efforts have been taken for vendor uh, to increase the vendor base. Other than advertisement, say vendor meets are organizing, uh, RDSO is organizing regularly vendor meets. During COVID it was online, now again offline vendor meet have started. I am told one vendor meet is being organized uh, today also. Then uh, lastly, just few, two more slides. Basically, I just want to draw your attention towards the item. Details you can collect from the site. It's still there are items, specifications are ready, but there's no approved vendor. And they are from track design, from motive power, for signal, from SNT department. So still there are items. We are looking for the vendors. Then I have enlisted around 20 items for which the vendors are less than 3. And they are related to traction installation, electric loco, all these items. And vendor development for these items are even much easier. For example, I will just tell you, as I told you that once you get the conditional developmental approval, and you offer your sample for the testing later on, and if your sample fails, then RDSO is giving another opportunity to submit your testing uh, sample. Earlier, when only when your sample fails, your application used to get rejected. Now we are giving second opportunity for the for resubmission of the test sample. And in such cases, when the vendors are less, less than five in fact, you are, we are giving another opportunity. So third time you can submit your sample, but the third time it can be inspected and uh, you can get your approval done. So things are simpler, easier. These are the items for which the, there are less than three vendors, then some electrical and engineering items. Uh, later on in the presentation, I had covered the websites, where to go and how to go. This you can find out yourself. If you have any 
issue you can discuss it with me we are based at delhi uh, i am the in charge of delhi field unit delhi field unit of rdso for vendor development and quality inspection product inspection and uh, some item which are there is no indigenous sources so still a uh, lot of opportunity and things have been made, made very simple so you should come forward high value items with limited source this is the flow diagram thank you very much for your uh, patience hearing and i must say that things have changed you should take full advantage of these situations thank you very much Thank you.